And we're getting some breaking news at the moment and uh, this is about the geopolitical crisis which uh, has led to the market taking a massive hit. There's been a weak opening for the Indian stock market. The Sensex has opened with around 680 points lower than what it should be. Nifty has opened 200 points lower. So the market and the volatility at the Indian market, the stock market continues and the reason being the geopolitical crisis as far as Russia and Ukraine is concerned. My colleague Hina Gambhir joins me on the phone line. Hina, weak opening for Indian stock markets. Uh, this is something that's much expected, but what does it mean for the Indian economy? Well, uh, now uh, the way things are between Ukraine and Russia, the kind of sanctions that Russia is facing, uh, Indian economy uh, is expected to take a bad hit. And uh, the first indication has come via the reaction on the market. Can you hear me, Griha? Yes, I can. Please go ahead, Hina. Yeah, so I was telling you the first reaction has come uh, via the impact that we are seeing on stock market. Sensex it has seen a cut of about 680-odd points in the uh, opening. Nifty is also down about 1.2%. Now, this is a big cut because over the last few days also we have seen markets getting impacted. And uh, this is uh, exactly what's being seen in global markets as well. Now, fresh sanctions have been announced by U.S. as well against Russia. Russia is feeling completely isolated. Now, remember, uh, India depends upon Russia if not for oil, but at least for defense equipment. And if Russia, uh, Russia's mm. uh, you know, domestic industry is impacted by these sanctions, then they will definitely have an impact on our uh, you know, defense sector as well, our industries as well. So... Oil is one thing. The sentiment is leading to surge in oil prices. That is one thing that's going to hit India very badly. Apart from this, the sanctions that are coming indirectly are going to have an impact on Indian uh, business as well. So overall, it's not a very good situation. And that's the reason why markets are also quite weak. In the morning today, they are following the weak global queues because overnight, after the developments that happened, the TV tower that was targeted in Ukraine by Russia last night uh, impacted the overall sentiment. All yes. eyes are now going to be on the second round of talks between Russia and Ukraine that markets will be watching very, very closely because if something positive comes out, uh, if Russia understands, you know, the mm. impact of sanctions, then maybe things might start getting better. Otherwise, if it continues like this, it's not a good thing for uh, Indian economy. In fact, pandemic hit global economy also. Absolutely, Hina. Very important updates that uh, my colleague Hina Gambhir is bringing to you as uh, there's been a weak opening for Indian stock markets. This is not really a good thing for not just the Indian economy, but a global economy. Because remember, this is an economy, economy that's coming out of the pandemic. And now this is facing a geopolitical crisis. We'd have to wait and watch how do the markets continue to respond to this. Hina Gambhir, thank you so much for joining me.